In this demo, I'm going to create a custom bot and I'm gonna add it to an existing Microsoft Teams app and use the single sign-on support in Microsoft Teams to obtain an access token that I can use to submit requests to Microsoft Graph. So this exercise or this demo assumes that I've already created the Azure AD app in the previous demo uh, for this module. And it also is going to require that I have a valid Azure subscription in order to create a bot using the bot framework. However, if you don't have a, an Azure subscription, you can use the legacy bot framework registration portal. And for more information on this, see the create a bot uh, documentation in the Microsoft Teams documentation. Developing Microsoft Teams apps requires a Microsoft 365 tenant, Microsoft Teams configured for development, and the necessary tools installed in your workstation. For the Microsoft 365 tenant, follow the instructions in the Microsoft Teams documentation on how to prepare your Microsoft 365 tenant for obtaining a developer tenant if you don't already have a Microsoft 365 account. Make sure that you have also enabled Microsoft Teams for your organization. Microsoft Teams must be configured to enable custom apps and allow custom apps to be uploaded to your tenant in order to build custom apps for Microsoft Teams. Again, follow the instructions on the same Prepare Your Microsoft 365 Tenant page that I previously mentioned. You'll use Node.js to create a custom Microsoft Teams app in this module and in this demo. The exercises and demos in this module assume that you have the following tools installed on your developer workstation. Node.js version 12 or higher, NPM version 6 or higher, Gulp version 4 or higher, Yeoman version 3 or higher, the Yeoman Generator for Microsoft Teams version 3 or higher, and the latest version of Visual Studio Code. You must have the minimum versions of these prerequisites installed on your workstation in order to complete this demo. Now, the next step that I have is to update the Azure AD app that I created in the previous um, exercise or previous demo in this module. So let's come back over here to, to the app. And what I'm gonna do is let's go to our um, Expose an API. And I wanna make a change here uh, to the ID. Now, when you're working with a bot and you're with SSO and Microsoft Teams, what I have to do is I don't use the domain here. Instead, I use bot ID. Uh, as the um, uh, as the string here, sorry, it's bot ID one word dash and then the GUID of the Azure AD app. So I'm going to go ahead and save that change. It's automatically going to update the scopes and it's also going to update um, the references for the client IDs as well. The other change that I'm going to have to make is over on the authentication piece and it's the redirect URI. Um, the redirect URI that I need to use here needs to be uh, the HTTPS token.botframework.com slash dot auth slash web slash redirect. So that's the endpoint that the bot framework is going to use uh, to obtain the access uh, to obtain the access token and do the redirect. Now the next thing I need to do is I'm going to need to register a new bot with the Azure bot framework. So I need the URL where the bot's going to run and bots like tabs must be served from a publicly accessible domain served over HTTPS. I've already kind of gone over this on the whole ngrok and the domain for ngrok and the subdomain. So this is another thing you're gonna to need to pay attention to uh, when you, uh, if you restart ngrok and the, the subdomain changes, unless you're using a licensed copy um, of ngrok uh, such as I am. So inside of my resource group that I have set aside for uh, this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and create, go to the marketplace and I'm gonna add a new bot uh, channel registration. I'm going to go ahead and select create and I'm going to give my bot a name as my first bot and then I'll just start adding numbers to it at the very end until one is available is not available or one is available okay that works um, I'm going to leave my subscription my resource group the location all the same I'm going to switch the pricing tier to f0 uh, it's a very forgiving free tier that'll work just fine for our use here the messaging endpoint the endpoint of my bot is going to be https andrewconnellingrock.io slash api slash messages. Uh, I'm going to turn off app insights for this instance. And I'm also going to uh, specify the app ID and password. So the default setting here is I want to just use the existing app ID and password that I've already defined uh, in my other Azure AD app. So let's go fetch that. So I need to grab the ID for our app. 
I'll grab that right here and we'll go paste that in. And now I need a password for my app. So come over here to tokens and certificates and let's create a new secret. I'll copy that and I'm actually going to, we're actually gonna stick that uh, into a text file so we don't have to keep fetching this in the future. And we'll also do the same thing for the IDs. We're gonna need that again a little bit later. Okay, so we'll grab both of those. So we'll take this ID and we'll stick the password in right here. Yep, there's our password, so we'll say okay. And then we'll select create to go ahead and start creating the resource. After the bot has been provisioned, I'm gonna select it from within the new resource group that I just created. And so here we are with our bot that we just created. Now, one of the things we're gonna have to do for our bot is I need to enable the Teams channel. So I'm gonna to go to Channels. We're gonna add a featured channel for Microsoft Teams. Hit Save, select the terms of service or agree to the terms of service and save our changes. And then the next thing I need to do is go back to the configuration. And what I need to do is I need to go through and configure the OAuth connection settings. So for the OAuth connection settings, I'm gonna to need to specify the name for a connection setting. So we'll just call this uh, my first bot one, two, three, four, um, OAuth connection. The provider is going to be Azure AD V2. The uh, client ID, that's the client ID that we have here for the client ID is the ID of our app. So we'll put the client ID in here. The secret is the secret that we've already selected or that we already created the token exchange URL. So this value is the, the Azure AD app ID URI. So that was API colon slash slash bot ID dash and then the GUID. The tenant ID is common and the list of scopes that we need is a list of all the permissions that the bot framework should go obtain. So mail.read open ID profile and user.read are the permissions we're gonna to wanna to grab. I'm also gonna to need to save this connection setting because we're gonna need this in a little bit later. So I'm gonna go ahead and select save. And I'm also gonna put that over here in notepad because we're gonna need this or in uh, my VS code text file. 